everybody, it's Claire. Welcome back to another Web Dev Wednesday. So today I am going to again approach this box, this color changing box that we made a few weeks ago that checks if it's red, if it's red, turns it to blue. If it's blue, it turns it to red. We're going back to just the, the two instead of a loop of a bunch of colors, which if you're interested in a straightforward and clear way to cycle through a bunch of if else statements, check out last week's video where I talk about switch statements. But today we're going back to just a simple if else, and I'm going to show you a new um, conditional operator. It's called a ternary conditional. So it's just kind of a shorthand for an if else where you can do all of this in just one line of code. I'm gonna do two because you have to set it to a variable and I'll show you what I mean right now. Okay, so this is what a ternary conditional looks like. And like I said, I'm gonna set the result to a variable and you can call this whatever you want and then refer to it later in your code. So this is what an if else statement now looks like when it's in ternary notation here. So basically we're checking this. So if this, you put a question mark, do this, and then this colon here denotes else, do this. So, you know, is this true? If so, do this. If not, do this. And you can see it's nice and straightforward. It really cleans your code up if you have a lot of single if else statements. You don't have to have a whole bunch of curly brackets here and there and all that. So like the switch statement, it's another way to just make your code a little more intuitive, a little bit easier for humans to read and work with. So let's apply this now to our changing color block. Okay, so we have it working. I'm going to erase what we have so far and we're just going to create a variable called color and we're going to use our ternary operator to evaluate what color our box background is. So we're evaluating box style background. So like in our if statement we're checking if the box style background is red question mark is it red? If it is color, this variable that we are creating is going to be set to blue. Else, so if it doesn't, if we click the button and it doesn't evaluate to red, if the background is not red, we're going to set it to red. And the way we have this coded out, if it's not red, it should be blue and it should switch back and forth. So now we have this variable called color that is being evaluated here. And all we have to do inside of our function now is change our box style background to color, whatever it evaluates to. So if we save that and refresh our page over here, it's red, so it changes to blue. If it's blue and we click the button that's linked to change color, it's gonna evaluate this box style equals red, no, so it's gonna skip over this and go right to the value after the colon, like the equivalent of else, and then change the box style background back to red. Very quick here on how we can do this. If you have a bunch of values that this could evaluate to, then your ternary operator is not going to be the answer. But if it's just a one-off if else that you, you know you want to be able to do really quickly in one line, the ternary operator is where you want to go. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you found this helpful and easy to understand. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. Um, remember, I post new videos every Wednesday, so I'll see you all next week for another Web Dev Wednesday. Bye, everybody.